everybody and welcome to my kitchen. We're going to make a, a real old recipe today. In fact, it was Sam's grandmother's recipe. And he'll tell you a little bit about it at the end. So let's get started. Pull up a chair. This is a quarter of a stick of butter that I melted. And um, this is a quarter of a cup of flour. And I'm going to go ahead and get these mixed together till they're smooth. And I'm having some bad camera problems, y'all. So we got to hurry through this video because I'm going to have to buy some new batteries. All right, that is smooth. Nice and smooth. Can you all see it? Now, this is three cups of whole milk. Pour it in this bowl. Well, I'm going to pour this in first. Let me get the... There we go. Get my butter and flour mixed up and in this bowl. I want to try to get as much of it in there as possible because this is what's going to thicken that sauce. And we're going to heat this up. We're going to heat it in the microwave. We're just going to do it the modern way. And we're not going to heat it till it's real thick. We're only going to heat it until um, it starts to get thick because this is going to be a thin sauce. A thin sauce, not a thick one. So I'm going to go ahead and get this poured in and mixed in. And I'm going to put it in the microwave and when it gets thick, well as thick as I need it, you'll see it. And then I'll bring you all back. Alright, this is our uh, slightly thickened white, white sauce and you can see it's just slightly thickened and it took you do it in two minute increments you do two minutes and then you uh, then you stir it and then do it for two minutes and it took mine six minutes to get to this consistency all right and that's just the way you want it right there now, in a 9 by 13 bowl or casserole dish, and this may not be that large. I was kind of hoping that it is, but we'll see. 9 by 13, spray it. Preheat your oven to 325. Now you got a sleeve of saltine crackers. And this is exactly how you want them. You don't want them ground up fine. You're going to put half of that sleeve of crackers in the bottom of this dish. This is an asparagus casserole, y'all. I never did tell you. This is one 15-ounce can of extra long asparagus and you're going to spread that in the bottom over the crackers wipe my hands off for a minute and then you're going to put one cup of shredded sharp cheese on top of that
All right. Then you're going to ladle. this thin white sauce over that. Not all of it. Maybe half of it. I don't know what these little black specks are, but I suspect that uh, it may have started to get too thick. I'm going to get them out. There we go. Alright, that's all that's going in. That. Now you're going to start again. This is the other half of that package of crackers. Saltine crackers. Some of them are a little large, but they're okay. They're the size of about about the size of cornflakes. You're doing okay. Here's the second can. These are 15 ounce cans of extra long asparagus spears. I'm going to take half of them and spread them out up here and the other half and spread it down here. It's the exact same layering. Now the cheese. What did I do with it? Here it is. This is uh, sharp cheese. Finely grated sharp cheese. Okay, then you're going to ladle the rest of the white sauce over the top of this. Then it's going in the oven, and I've already told you, 325 degrees. It doesn't say how long to bake it, but you bake it until it bubbles. So, you know, I don't know, 20, 20 to 30 minutes at 325 And when, it, when this gets through baking, I'll bring you all back. Guys, our, our casserole's done. It, it takes 25-30 minutes. Sam is here. I'm going to dip him out some. Dip me out a good bit. I know I love it. Of course, you know it's this grandmother's recipe. Guarantee it'll be good. She was one of the greatest cooks there's ever been. It may need salt and pepper, Sam. She uh, ran a boarding house for years, and she would get up every morning about three o'clock to, you know, prepare, start preparing all three meals for like about fifteen boarders. That's good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> it's a little hot, but it's delicious. Yeah, if you love us, if you like asparagus, you'll love this. Like I said, she was a great cook. She, um, back before they had food stamps, 
she gave out commodities, you know, she was in charge of that. Remember the old gallon cans of peanut butter and 10 pound blocks of cheese? She just decided, you know, who got how much or whatever. She was also a truant officer for years. And then she used to keep you out of school mm -hmm. to go with her. <laughs> she used to let me skip school to go after some of the people that were skipping school. <laughs> America's <laughs> only in America. But so she what was, was her first name, Sam? Her, her name was Rena May. R-E-N-A-M-A-R-E-N-A-M-A-E. Mm-hmm. Rena May. She was a wonderful lady. The meat that Sam has on his plate is a prime rib burger. And I did it on top of the stove. I've had them before. There's not an ounce of fat in them. So, uh, I, I cooked them in a pan with about two tablespoons of, um, oil, mm -hmm. olive oil really, and I put some uh, garlic powder in there to help flavor it. And then on top of the prime rib, I put some steak sauce. And how is it? It's delicious. Absolutely delicious. And goes great with this asparagus casserole. Okay. Which my mother, now my mother tried to cook asparagus casserole, but she used some kind of quick recipe with just poured mushroom soup in it and it it wasn't anything like this I mean you know bless her heart <laughs> well alright guys I hope you try this recipe and enjoy it like we do and uh, I'm gonna try to get a close-up of it it's delicious get over in one corner well tastes like a five-star restaurant there's a little bit of asparagus in every bite, and of course the cream sauce is good, the white sauce. And the cheese. Yeah, with the cheese in it. So I think you'll like it. Y'all ought to try it now. It'd probably cut easier if I had a knife, which I didn't get. Well, thank you for coming in today and spending part of your day with, you, with me. I appreciate it every time. Give me a thumbs up and, and subscribe. If you haven't, it, it only takes a minute. Doesn't take long at all. All right, until next time, you all take care and God bless.